So today I'm going to show you how to set up or renew your Apple push notification certificate inside of Google Workspace. And the reason that you want, would want to do that is so that you can uh, manage some device settings from inside of Google Workspace. For example, enforcing that the device has a lock screen on it or remote wiping data or setting other policies that helps you secure your data on your team's iOS devices that they use and they connect to your organization. My name is Duncan from 65. I am a Google certified engineer and this video is just one of those many things that we do. I hope you find it useful. So let's get into it. So make sure you're logged in um, identity.apple.com forward slash push cert. And on the other side of the coin um, in your Google workspace portal, if you can't find this, the easiest way of doing that is just hitting iOS in the search bar. That'll take you to iOS settings. And then you'll see that'll bring up your Apple certificates. And from Apple certificates, click on Renew. Okay, click on the Get CSR button. So that will download. The CSR is the Certificate Signing Request. And that CSR is required. Uh, basically, it's the exchange of documents between the two sides. So over on the Apple side, here's my MDM from Google. So I'm going to click on Renew um, because I'm renewing this one. If you haven't started, you'll be clicking Add New. I'm going to upload that CSR into here. Don't need any notes. You can add some if you want, but you don't need to. And then it's as simple as that. I've got a confirmation. It's created a certificate, and I'm going to click on Download. So it's going to download this one, which ends in .pen. And very simply, over on the Google side, I'm going to click Upload and select my PEM file. Click Save and Continue. And there we have it push notification service certificate was successfully uploaded. So now you can see it's up to date and it's now good for another year. So super simple process. Uh, once you know where to find it, um, it can be a bit difficult to find. And note that this is uh, not something that's available in business standard or business starter. You need to be on business plus or one of the enterprise plans above uh, starter as well in order to be able to uh, do advanced mobile device management on iOS devices within your Google Workspace organization. Anyway, I hope this was useful. Thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next one.